guys so i am back with another video i'm actually going to be filming this um it's kind of a repeat video but i wasn't sure how the first one turned out so i'm kind of filming this one as a just in case the other one didn't turn out good if that makes sense um so if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is Renell. um if you are a returning subscriber welcome back I know I've been gone, but I'm back now and I am ready to give you guys all the tea. Um, so yeah, let's hop into the video. Let me do my little intro, do, 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 and then we'll get into the video. So according to YouTube, I have not posted a video here on this channel in 10 months and I don't know I guess I was feeling overzealous I thought it's I posted since then but I guess apparently not so I feel like I need to give an update of what's been going on um, where I've been what's been happening um, so yeah so let's take it back to 10 months 10 months ago would have been like September July ish or yeah Maybe like July, August. So it'll probably be about September. So the last video that I posted was, I think it was a blowout video, which was, I think the video was titled my last blowout for a while. Um, so we're going to go back before September a little bit. So last January, I started school to get my esthetician license, which I did finish and completed October of last year. I went part-time um, and I worked full-time. Um, the first seven months of school or six and a half months was remote, thank God, because I don't think I would have made it without it being remote, to be honest with you. And due to the fact that I only had to commute for three months out of the nine months the class took, I am like, that was the perfect situation for me because if I had to go in to school i probably would not have made it to be honest with you I, I would not have made it so thank god those first six and a half months were online because two reasons one if i had to literally be in front of some of my teachers every single day i would have like shot myself in the face i would have been like like no distractions no nothing no nothing like okay that's number one number two if it would have snowed and I would have had to take that ride, sign me out, cancel me. I don't, it would have been a wrap from where my job, from where I lived to where the school was. It would have been a wrap. I would have been like, this isn't going to work. I can't get through the winter like this. Like it's not going to happen. So thank God the first six and a half months was online. And I highly appreciate that. Even though I'm pretty sure if we would have had like more hands on in school, it would have been a different experience, but I went into esthetician school knowing what my focus was going to be, which was body waxing, waxing, waxing. And with that, if you've ever been to esthetician school or if you don't know, most of the focus in esthetician school is skincare. It's not a lot of the, it's not a lot of makeup. It's not a lot of waxing. It's not a lot of that. Most of it is the skincare portion of it, which is fine but I knew my focus was going to be body waxing. So I wasn't like that bummed that we weren't in school doing a lot of hands-on because once we got to school and it was hands-on, we mainly focused on facials and that kind of stuff, which I love because I do, you guys know, I love skincare. I do a lot of skincare videos here on my channel. So I love skincare. I love learning about different products, ingredients and things like that. So I do like that. So I was okay with it, but um, that was over in October. Um, in the midst of all that, I did cut my hair. If you guys follow me on Instagram or on Snapchat, you guys know that I cut my hair or even on TikTok. You guys know I cut my hair. I cut my hair in September. So I big chopped again. I actually cut it shorter than when I big chopped the first time. So my hair is a lot shorter. Um, I started growing out like after Christmas, but before that, between September and December, I had a shortcut. I kept it short and I continuously cut it. Um, always got to shave up, always got a haircut um, for about, yeah, from September to December, I had short hair. So I cut my hair. 
Um, so that was something else that happened between, you know, the last time I uploaded and now, um, I did start growing it back out. I will try to insert some pictures of when I cut my hair and kind of how it looks now. Um, cause it's kind of like in little like mini braids right now, but it's, sh it's short. It's a lot shorter than you guys will obviously remember from the last video. Cause my hair was like just flourishing. But school, once I started commuting to school, it, it became work, honey. Like trying to keep up with school, doing my hair, my haircut regimen, trying to schedule a, appointment times for protective styling. It just, it just wasn't happening. Plus I had other things in my personal life going on that just my, like I was never home. Like I was never home long enough to get any of that stuff done. So I just like, you know what, I'm cutting my hair and that's it, which was funny because school ended like a month later, but didn't care. I enjoyed my shortcut while it lasted. Um, then in the midst of all of that, um, in July, I actually met someone and, uh, it completely, I want to say changed my life, shifted my life, moved my life around very quickly, very fast. Um, July, I want to say mid July, mid to end July, I met someone or we kind of re-met someone. This is someone that I've met a year prior, but nothing became of it. It was very, 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 very short lived, like short, short lived. Um, and then we reconnected, um, a year later, um, just kind of very random, like not planned, not thinking, not, not even thinking about this person, honestly, to be, to, to be honest with you, um, reconnected with this person and we have pretty much been inseparable ever since. Um, literally between July and December, we were literally talking about our future, what we're going to do, getting seriously. We literally went from like zero to a hundred in those five months. Um, we got engaged in January of this year. Um, but before I got engaged, since we were already talking about committing and being serious and all that kind of stuff, the talk came up about me moving, switching jobs, et cetera, et cetera. Luckily, um, I was able to transfer from my current job to another site where here, like they have a branch here in New York, which is, I live in Jersey. I moved to New York. But that I'm saying, so I transferred from my job in Jersey to a job in New York. So it ended up being a smoother transition. Um, it came the decision for me to move because I, my job was the most flexible. Number one, to transition. Number two, the commute. If he moved to Jersey from his job, would have been way too long of a commute because um, he works in Long Island. So for him to commute from Long Island to Jersey every single day, back and forth every single day, just would not have worked. So me moving made the most sense. And so I moved at the end of December. I moved to New York. I officially permanently moved to New York at the end of January, but I had what it is. I pretty much had my, my apartment until the end of January, but I had moved all my stuff out before, before that. Um, January, we got engaged. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the video of me getting engaged. If you didn't, I'll insert it somewhere in this video, probably right now. I'm so sorry. She said yes. Now <laughs> Um, I was, I knew it was coming cause obviously we talked about it. We, we had shared pictures of rings and all that type of things. So I knew it was coming. I wasn't sure when or anything like that, but, um, I was so excited. Like it, I was, it was literally like, I don't know, just life happened and it just seemed so right. There was no, um, 
there was no like doubt, you know what I mean? Like you ever date somebody and you're like, I don't have any doubt about this. I mean, the only doubts that I had was like personal, like how am I going to move my entire life this quickly into a completely new city? And you know, even though it's only across the water, it's still different from what I've used to. I've, you know, my apartment had been set up to exactly the way that I liked it. I had literally got to a place where my apartment was like, no changes for a while. My studio in my apartment was set up like for my filming was everything was just set and in place. It was like a calm, you know what I'm saying? So that was like the only like, Oh my God, like I'm going to have to start all over with this. Um, so we got engaged in January. We talked about getting married and, and wedding dates and all those types of things. And we kind of both agreed and decided that we did not want to have a long engagement or he mentioned he didn't want to have a long engagement. I was not opposed to that. So, you know, we had started now picking out wedding dates and we originally were to go in. I mean, if it were up to him, we were literally got married that, that, I mean, that same month, but you know, um, so we ended up originally picking a date in August. And then when we picked the venue, which was in, we decided on a venue in February, um, we were talking back and forth and we kind of didn't want to be in the midst of hurricane season cause we were having a destination wedding. Um, we didn't want to be in the hurricane season of it all. So we then shifted it back a couple weeks and we picked the wedding date of July 30th, 2022, which was six months from getting engaged. And we picked our venue in February. So technically I had about five months to plan a wedding but we got it done. So nonetheless, fast forward, everything happened with the wedding. We got married. It was amazing. It was beautiful. Um, but in like in the midst of all of that happening, it's like I was moving, I was had a new job, which included a promotion. Um, it was, you know, planning a wedding. A lot of those things kept me from YouTube. Also, I was moving into a new space. So I had to like reorganize this space, which he lived in that kind of suited how I lived for the most part to kind of give it some familiarity, some organization, some sort of like peace, like, you know, something. So just a lot of that took up a lot of my time and a lot of my focus. You guys know, like YouTube is not like my, it's not like a source of income for me. Um, so it wasn't, it's not priority to be honest with you guys. It is something that I enjoy doing, like doing, you know, if it ever goes anywhere, great. If it doesn't, I still like doing it. So for me, um, it just wasn't a priority. I had to finish all of those things. And then also add into the fact that like my whole studio setup is no longer, it doesn't exist. Like finding, like I still have all of my equipment, obviously all the equipment that I had I brought with me, um, with some exceptions because the space that I now live in is not as big as my apartment. So, um, there's that. And so you know, just figuring out what I'm going to do, where I'm going to set up, where I'm going to feel, how am I going to do this? How am I going to feel motivated to film? Because for me, the motivation for me to film and as much as I was filming before was that all I had to do was sit down in the chair, turn everything on, like literally had a remote to turn everything on and hit record. That was my motivation. I knew I didn't have to set up anything. I knew I didn't have to break down anything when I was done. All I know is I had to set up like what I was going to be using, like set up my makeup, hit the on button and hit record. That was my motivation to know that it wasn't going to be a hassle. And I had set up that space seamlessly in my old place. So like that motivation to do that and figure that out was difficult, not difficult, but it just wasn't a priority because I had other things going on. There was school, moving, new job, planning a wedding all those things that I had to get done and it just wasn't a priority. So once the, what, every time I was like, okay, I'm going to film now. Oh, I'm going to film now. Oh, I'm going to vlog this. Oh, I'm going to vlog. Like me vlogging my wedding was like something that I planned on doing, but just like, even though being planning a wedding was a big task, I was also had a new job that required a lot of my time from sun up to sun down. So a lot of like the extracurriculars, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of fell to the wayside because it just wasn't 
there was no way for me to keep up maintain like there was like no balance like there was no there was balance but like had I added filming back in there it would have tipped the scale like it wouldn't no longer it would not have been balanced so um that's why I have been gone now that everything has kind of passed I've kind of settled into my job settles into my home life my, my new life settled into life after the wedding and kind of settled like into like my life now I feel like I can hop back into it and kind of have like more of a play of what I can do and can't do how often I can do certain things so for me that's why I'm here making this video because I've settled down and I can kind of give you guys an update. It's just been a lot going on in a very short period of time. Time flies and life changes very fastly and it can literally change like, I don't want to say overnight, but damn near. Um, so it's just been a lot going on and being able to manage in the midst of all of this wedding planning and all that kind of stuff i also had a friend that passed away a very close friend of mine that passed away in the midst of all of this so it's just been a very crazy 10 months and um i feel like now being back um i can kind of pinpoint when i can film when i can edit you know sometimes it's not always the filming part that's hard it's the editing part and sitting down and now i'm sharing my space again with someone so now I kind of have to edit around my quality time with them and things like that and just figuring all that out again because I haven't had to do that in a long time like I was single for about two years so I didn't have to really concern myself with anybody else um you know god bless my mother that she is still um still has Nia, Nia is still in St. Croix um and she loves it um, she will be back, you know, when she'll be back, I don't know, but she will be back. But I do visit pretty often. I do talk to her every single day. So that has been a big help on me of managing all the shifting change. And plus like, it was like, once all this happened, I was like, I don't want her to be here when all this stuff is moving around and everything's like, what's that game? Tetris, you know, everything's Tetrising. So it's kind of helpful that she isn't here and gives me a little bit of breathing room. So like, I do appreciate like my mom is like heaven sent. Like, I'm sorry, my mother is better than, better than most. So I just, you know, I just appreciate that aspect and that support that I have in my life. And then having this newfound support system and all that kind of stuff and just rearranging my life. It's just been crazy but also fun like I can't I can't complain and I'm very 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 happy I'm in a completely different space than I was a year ago and managing that has been you know been a challenge so if you guys want to see more videos, if you want to hear me talk about my wedding planning, how it went, I don't want to say tips because I just feel like when it comes to weddings, they're all custom made. Um, so I don't really say tips, but if you guys want to know what I did, how I'm the planning went, how I picked my bridesmaids, um, information about my wedding dress i will end up posting my wedding video at some point um i don't know when probably within the next couple of weeks i really don't want to post it until like my close friends and family have watched it um not because i don't want you guys to see it i just don't i want them even though they were mostly all there um i kind of wanted to share with them first um and then i may or may not post it on here um so yeah that's my thoughts on everything of why I've been at my A. Honestly, nothing too bad except for, you know, the one thing. But um, that's why I've been at my A. I hope you guys understand. And I mean, I've gotten messages and I see you guys commenting still on old videos that I posted and checking up on me. But I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. I'm super happy, super content, super just in a totally different space. Like, just in a totally different space. A more, I mean, my old space was calm as well, but it's just, you know, I have somebody to share that with that I love deeply and almost didn't think it was possible, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not gonna lie. So, if you guys want to want me to do videos with him, maybe not videos, but you know, a video with him here and there, let me know if you want to introduce him. If you guys have any questions, 
leave them down below. I will get to them. Any questions you want, personal, school related, whatever, living in New York, whatever it is, leave your comments down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for supporting me and just being the best like I love you guys and I will continue and try to get here and post more often now that I'm on a more of a routine which took a while to get on a routine even with the job that's you know that's a chore in itself so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one very soon bye